Good morning, class. Uh, I would like to welcome you for this lesson. I remember on the first time when we met, the other time when we met, the last time we met, we were looking at mainly, we looked at the, the principles or the law of levers, of which we went ahead, and we looked at, we stated this principle where we said the sum of the clockwise moment on a lever should be equal to the sum of the anticlockwise moment. That is one of the principles or the law of levers that we talked about. We also went ahead and we looked at, uh, we looked at the calculations of levers, calculations of levers where we were trying, we were calculating, finding out the distance from the fulcrum when the load is given and the effort is given and finding, I left you with the exercise where you were supposed to find the load when the distance is given on, the, on, a, on a machine. Therefore, today we are not going to go back to that. Uh, I believe all of you, you completed that, that exercise and you got the answer correctly. Uh, at this time, today we want to look at something new. From the calculation that we have been looking at, we would like to go ahead and we look at something that is almost related to what we have been looking at last time in the calculation. Today we want to look at what we call the mechanical advantage of a machine. Mechanical advantage of a machine. When we talk about mechanical advantage, our question comes and we say, what is a mechanical advantage? What is mechanical advantage of a machine? When we talk about mechanical advantage of a machine, this is the number of times a machine uses a given work. Mechanical advantage is the number of times a machine uses work. I repeat this. Mechanical advantage is the number of times a machine uses work. How many times does a machine uses a, certain, a given work? That is what we refer to as mechanical advantage. Or another person can also take a definition and say, mechanical advantage is the ratio of load to effort. Mechanical advantage is a ratio of load to effort. That's another definition of the term mechanical advantage as used in machine. Now. Looking at this, the second definition where we have said mechanical advantage is a ratio of load to effort, that one gives us a formula of how to work out the mechanical advantage of a machine. Working out the mechanical advantage of a machine, I mean calculating the mechanical advantage. When we know the load and we know the effort that is used, we can work out, we can find the mechanical advantage of a machine. Using the formula, mechanical advantage of a machine is got by dividing the load to the effort. Mechanical advantage equals to load divided by effort. That is the formula that we use to find to calculate the mechanical advantage of a machine. In case you are asked to calculate the mechanical advantage of a machine, this is the formula that we use. At times they go ahead and they ask you to find the load. They give you the mechanical advantage, they give you the effort, and they ask you to find the load. We still use the same formula. Mechanical advantage equals to load divided by effort. But when we are asked to calculate the, the load, when the mechanical advantage is given and the effort is given, then, we can alternate this one here. We can say load out of effort is equal to mechanical advantage. We start with the load out of effort this side, which should be equal to mechanical advantage. We put it this side. When the mechanical advantage is given, the load is not given, the effort is given. And the question requires us to calculate the load. We start with this one here on the left. Then we bring the mechanical advantage on the right. So this is the formula that we use to calculate the mechanical advantage of a machine. This formula, mechanical advantage, can also be written in short form as MA. 
The short form of mechanical advantage is MA, which should be equals to the load divided by effort. This load can be represented by letter L, and effort can be represented by letter E. I repeat the definition of the term mechanical advantage of a machine. Mechanical advantage is the number of times a machine eases a given work. The number of times a machine eases work. That is what we call the mechanical advantage of a machine. Uh, we are moving ahead to look at some of the important parts of this. When we are talking about mechanical advantage, there are some of the important parts that we have to look at and understand them very well. The first point here that is so vital that we are looking at in our NB is saying load and effort are forces, therefore they can be expressed in newtons. Load can be expressed in newtons. For example, someone can say a machine, a man carried a bag of Porsche weighing 50 newtons, 50 newtons. Now, that newton, since weight and effort, all these are forces. Therefore, they can be measured, they can be expressed in newtons. As we have looked at some days back there, where we say that standard units of measuring, weight is newtons, weight is measured in newtons. Therefore, since these ones are forces, the load and effort, they can be expressed in newtons. So when we look at that letter N, that letter N represents Newton. It's a symbol for the word Newtons. Okay, that was our first point that we needed to express here. We are saying, since the load and the effort, these ones are forces, they can be expressed in Newtons, where we shall be looking at that very soon in our calculation. The second point that you need to understand also is the mechanical advantage has no units. When you, when you have calculated the mechanical advantage of a machine and you have got the number, let us say you have got the answer to be four, that four has no unit. The mechanical advan advantage of a machine has no units because it is a ratio of the two forces. I repeat this, when you have calculated the mechanical advantage, there is no unit in which it is expressed. So when you have got four, your answer just remains the plain four. You don't put there any unit in the mechanical advantage. However, when you are asked to calculate the load, the load you can have the units in kilogram force, or you can have your units in newtons depending on what has been given to you in the question. So those are the two important things that we have to note when we are dealing with the mechanical advantage. One, we have said the load and effort can be expressed in e, newtons. The second thing, the second vital part that we looked at is that the mechanical advantage has no units. It is, has no units in which it is expressed. Now, the next point that we are looking at Mechanical advantage of a machine depends, mechanical advantage of a machine depends on how much friction there is in a machine. The mechanical advantage of a machine depends on how much friction the machine has, is there, is contained in the machine. Remember when we talk about mechanical advantage, we are saying the number of times a machine is its work depends on the amount of friction that is exerted on that machine. When there is too much friction on a machine, the mechanical advantage is less. Therefore, making doing work, the work very hard, requiring too much energy to do work. When the machine has much friction, then you need a lot of energy in, uh, to put in that machine in order for it to do a piece of work. Therefore, when, the, when there is too much friction in the machine, the mechanical advantage is less. The mechanical advantage is less than one. The higher the friction, the less the mechanical advantage of a machine. Therefore, 
leading to much force needed to do a piece of work. That is what we have to note. A lot of friction, a lot of friction means the machine has a small mechanical advantage. That is to say, its mechanical advantage is less than one, and therefore it requires a lot of energy, a lot of effort that is needed to do the work in that machine. Therefore, that is one of the force that affects the, the work of a machine. That is what we call the frictional force. Frictional force affects the mechanical advantage of machines. If the mechanical advantage of a machine is greater than one, let's note this. If the mechanical advantage of a machine is greater than one, then less force, we need less force to do work in that machine. When the mechanical advantage of a machine is two, when the mechanical advantage of a machine is three and above, then that machine requires less effort to do work using it. You don't need to put much energy in that machine. So the greater the mechanical advantage, and the less effort is used to do work in a machine. Now, looking at this, we are looking at how to calculate, how to find, how to work out the mechanical advantage of a machine. Our example one, example one they are telling us, find the mechanical advantage of a crowbar below. This one here is a crowbar. And we are finding the mechanical advantage. The, this question is requiring us to work out the mechanical advantage of this crowbar. There are some of the things that I would like us to note from this crowbar very well. We should identify them before we start calculating the mechanical advantage. We are going to use our formula here to find the mechanical advantage of this, okay? Therefore, where do we find the, what we are calling the load? Where is the load from this crowbar? Which, one, which figure is representing the weight of the load? The weight of the load? That is the first thing that we have to understand. The figure that is representing the weight of the load on this crowbar is this 100 newtons. This 100 newton is the load of, on this crowbar. Then, which one is the effort on this crowbar? Or from all these figures, we have said this 100 represents the load. Which one is the effort? What is the force? that is being put on this machine to lift this load of 100 newtons. The effort here on this machine is 20 newtons here. This is the effort, okay? This one here, the 10 centimeters, this one here is the, the load arm distance, the distance of the load arm. Then the 100 centimeter is the effort arm. This is the distance of the effort arm. Therefore, we are going to use 100 newtons, which is the load, divided by 20 newtons, which is the effort. This one will give us the mechanical advantage of this crowbar. I believe everyone has got this right. So, to go through this, we are saying mechanical advantage. From here now, I'm using, I'm using just the short forms. Mechanical advantage is equals to Load divided by effort. This is the first step, the first formula that we have to express here. Mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by effort. Now, the second step on this phase here, we are going to replace those, uh, the figures that we have identified on this part here which one is the load, and which one is the effort. So we are going to put 100, we are going to, uh, we are going to substitute this word load with 100 newtons, where we shall say mechanical advantage is equals to 100 newtons divided by the effort, which is 20 newtons. 
That is the second step. Now on this second step here, we can divide these figures. We have 100 divided by 20. This zero, we can cancel it with this one here. Then we have remained with the 10 out of two. 10 divided by two. By two here we have one, then by two here we have five. We are not going to take this newtons with the newtons, okay? So we have remained with only five, whereby our mechanical advantage will be equals to five. This is our answer. So this, the mechanical advantage of this crowbar is five. Remember on our note number two here, we said mechanical advantage has no units. Therefore, here we don't put any unit. We don't put any unit here. This crowbar eases work five times. This crowbar eases the work five times. So this one here is the mechanical advantage of the crowbar, this one here. We are looking at example number two, where the, the, the statement is a boy uses a crowbar to lift, a boy uses a crowbar to lift a bucket of 400 newtons using a force of 100 newtons. A boy uses a crowbar to lift a bucket of 400 newtons using a force of 100 newtons. Find how much the crowbar is as work. What is this question? What is this statement requiring from us? Find how much this crowbar is as work. In simple, they are, they, they are asking us to find the mechanical advantage of this crowbar. From our definition, the first definition where we said Mechanical advantage is the number of times a machine is its work. That is the statement that they have used here. Find how many times, how much the crowbar is its work. So here, uh, a pupil just has to understand that they are asking you to find the mechanical advantage. I think we can all work out this. Using our formula, mechanical advantage is equals to Lord divide by the effort. The key point here you have to, you have to find out, you have to identify which one among is this figure is the Lord and which one is the effort. Now, a boy uses a crowbar to lift. The word lift already has given you the point of which one is the Lord, okay? We lift the Lord. Something that you're lifting, that one becomes the Lord. So a crowbar, a boy uses a crowbar to lift a bucket of 400 newtons, meaning this 400, 400 newtons, this is our load. Using a force, this word force already gives you the word force. When you see that word force, the other word effort, effort should come into your brain. So therefore, our load there is 400 newtons, and the effort is 100 newtons. So from here, you, we can work out the mechanical advantage. Our exercise is up here. Number one, number two, there are only two numbers, which are very simple when you have understood all this. I wish you the best.